With the advent of modern digital photography, it's become much easier in all aspects of life to keep a photographic record of certain things. This is especially a huge benefit to chefs so they can keep a record of how a certain dish looked for future reference, be it good or bad. A far cry from the photographic capabilities that existed when my career in food first began. I've built up such a vast amount of photos since photography has become so much more accessible that I've put together a slideshow here of the good, the bad and the very ugly that I've managed to capture over the years. We'll begin with this slideshow of savoury pictures that I've built up. First up here we have a selection of canapes. Canapes are small bite-sized nibbles normally served at receptions and formal parties. They're handed out on trays and the idea is to encourage the guests to mingle and start conversations as several guests probably don't know each other. Little fun fact here, canapes were originally a French term for sofa. Next up we have some gravelax and some ham hock terrain. The gravelax is a cured salmon which is then coated in mustard and dill before being thinly sliced. The ham hocks are just braised ham hocks that have then been picked down and rolled and that is served with some homemade piccalilli. You can also see in the next pictures we have some ham hock croquettes which is just ham hock mixed with mashed potato rolled in breadcrumbs again served with the homemade piccalilli then we can see on the screen we have some confit duck terrine which is confit duck legs which have been picked down and then molded wrapped in parma ham and that is served with some spiced oranges and then we can see the next photo is a crayfish cocktail with a bloody mary sorbet Following that we have a tomato and mozzarella salad with pesto. After that we have a chicken liver parfait which is more commonly known as a pate served with some brioche. And the photo you can see on screen now is a smoked salmon pate with a melba toast which years down the line looking back on it I think everyone will agree is an absolute fail because that looks absolutely shocking. I think after that we better get back to some dishes that I'm actually a little bit more proud of. Up next we have a crayfish cocktail with a Bloody Mary jelly. This was a Gordon Ramsay dish originally that at the time it came out just about every chef was copying. After that we have a seared scallops with a beetroot puree and pickled rhubarb. This was a dish I came up with myself that actually turned out to be quite a good seller at the time. Next keeping with the scallops dish we have scallops with a parsnip puree and then a beetroot and rosemary sauce. And then finally on the scallops we have scallops with black pudding, pea puree, bacon and you can see with the leftover black pudding I've done a little crumb around the edge. For those of you who don't know black pudding is actually a traditional English dish which is made from pig's blood. After that we also have here a Chinese beef spring roll which is served with pak choy and pineapple chutney. As you can see on the screen there I've presented it in various ways over the years. Up next, keeping with the spring rolls, here's a vegan spring roll I've done in the past. This is a sweet potato and chilli spring roll served with a sweet and sour salad and pineapple chutney. Following that, we have some beetroot fritters which are served with a coriander mayonnaise. Next, you can see on the screen is the same as the squash fritters, is a beetroot fritter where I've just changed the butternut squash for beetroot. After that, we have a carpaccio of beetroot with a beetroot jelly made out of beetroot juice and a goat's cheese croquette. Following that we have ham hock with aubergine puree which is sometimes known as baba ganoush and some sourdough bread. Following that we have a potted ham hock served with piccalilli and sourdough again. Up now we have a cheddar cheese souffle with a tomato sauce, some buttered leeks and some lavash biscuits which are like little crackers. Here we have the ham hock terrine again, this time it's been served with a scotch egg on the side. Next is the preparation of a salmon tartare dish which I did for a wedding and then following that you can see the final presented dish. Following that we have a goat's cheese sun dried tomato and orange salad. This was a starter for a Christmas menu. After that we're back to a couple of the ugly ones again. Here's some Stilton fritters. They are a beautiful tasting dish but again the presentation here is just absolutely horrendous. After that we have mushroom arancini which is a risotto made into balls coated in breadcrumbs and then deep fried. Again a delicious dish but presentation wise absolutely terrible. And following that I've just included one pitcher of soup. This is a chicken and spinach soup. I do have lots and lots of photos of soup but watching bowls of soup would be like watching paint dry. I could keep going for hours with photos of starters but now I think it's time to get on to some main courses. Don't forget if there's any dish you do see here that you would like to see more in depth leave a comment and I'll happily make a video for it. 
Coming up first on the main courses, we have here some lovely crispy pork belly which has been slowly roasted. And here is the finished dish. Here it's been served with a black pudding potato cake, some swede mash, a little mini crab apple and some red wine sauce. Following on from that we have the good old crowd pleaser, the hamburger. Again I've done these various different ways over the years. Here you can see they are with some brioche buns. And one of my most popular dishes that I've ever made here are the sliders. They were a massive success. They're a trio of burgers, so you have a miniature lamb, miniature hamburger, and a miniature pork and chorizo burger. And here you can see where the picture has been turned into a watercolour. This was also a huge success as I pasted it on social media and it actually got picked up by a company that actually used it on their own website. Keeping with the burger theme, next we have a butternut squash burger which is vegan and served with some sweet potato fries. Following that we have a beetroot vegan burger which is served with some wasabi mayo. And also keeping with the vegans we have a chickpea tagine served with couscous. And also finally here a vegetable wellington served with a nice tomato sauce and side salad. And then following on from that we have everyone's favourite here in the UK which is the good old fashioned British roast. This is always served up on a Sunday and has been popular for generations and generations. Typically you serve a meat of your choice and then roast potatoes, vegetables as per your preference. And then it's also served with some gravy and we also have the delightful Yorkshire pudding on the side. Up next we have a feather blade of beef. Feather blade is a cut of beef that is quite tough so what I do is cut it down and then braise it very slowly over a period of 10 hours. It then it becomes nice and flaky and then it gets picked down, rolled into a nice shape. And here I have served it with a carrot puree, some mashed potato and some tender stem broccoli. Following on from that we have a couple of pies here. We have a nice steak and ale pie. There is a video on the channel about how I made that. And there's also a confit duck and cherry pie which I've served quite a while back now but was very successful. Now we move on to a few fish dishes. Here we have a tiger prawn tom yum which is a spicy Asian fish soup that is served with some chilli and coriander dumplings. Following on from that we have just a nice pan fried hake with a pea and dill risotto. A nice simple dish that's always a good seller. Following on from that we have just a grilled bream with some couscous and pesto. After that we have a nice crab cake here and as you can see as a little finishing touch there's also some crab placed on top of the crab cake. And then following that there is a grilled mackerel dish which is served with beetroot and a horseradish crumb. Moving on from that we have a few more casual dishes. Here we have a nice curry that I made in a pub I worked in. There is again a video on the channel how to make that. After that we have a nice macaroni cheese which is made with also a homemade focaccia. After that we have a bacon steak which again is just a nice simple dish which just has been done to present nice. Following that we have a steak with Dauphinoise potato and beetroot relish. Following that we have a corned beef hash, again this has been covered on the channel. And after that we have a nice stew and dumplings. That covers just a few of the dishes that I have built up a photo portfolio of over my career. If there's anything pictured that you do like the look of please feel free to leave a comment down below and if there isn't a video already on the channel I'll happily make one to demonstrate how to make those dishes. Following on from this I'll also be doing a slideshow of sweet baking things that I've made in the past including breads as well. If you'd like to see that be sure to like, share and subscribe to make sure you never miss it. And why not check out the video coming up on screen now.